to Jesus, all honor to Mary. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for another day of worship. And we are happy to be alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our topic for today is titled, Do Not Fear Men. And our Bible reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 10, from 26 to 33. Do not fear men. The Lord is talking to you. Do not fear men. There are many things that can cause us to fear. In our world today, people fear COVID-19. Yes, I personally am afraid of COVID-19. I'm not kidding about it. People fear economic recession. People fear armed robbers. People fear kidnappers. Loss of job. Health conditions. And many, 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 many more things I can tell you. There are many other things that people fear. A lot. People also fear human beings. Referred to as men in this our passage of today. People fear their bosses at work. People fear... Some wives fear their husband. Why some husbands fear their wife? People fear political leaders. People fear neighbors and colleagues. These days, parents even fear their children. Yes, I can tell you again. A lot of parents today are afraid of their children. They cannot even talk to their children. And that is very, very bad. So the Lord is telling us today, do not fear men. Do not fear men. The Lord is telling us clearly today, do not fear men. We should not fear men no matter their position, no matter their power, no matter their influence. A man can only deprive you of certain benefits and positions that you think you deserve. The worst they can do is to kill you. The worst they can do is to kill the person physically. That is the last and worst a man can do to anyone. But hear me. Our master says that we should not fear men. Instead of fearing men who can only kill the body. We are told to fear God. Who can kill both the body and the soul? So child of God, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of anybody, no matter what, who they are. The Lord says you should only fear God. Fear your God who has the power to kill both the body and the soul. So we ask God to give us the grace. That we can be all equipped to stand any man, to stand whatever, whoever they are, or whatever they may be, or they will carry with. The power of God is in us, and we should not fear any man. A man can only bring about physical separation, but God can separate both physically and spiritually. That is why you should fear only God. The man that you fear is also under God's authority. Hear me again. That man that you are afraid of is also under God's authority. Why you are afraid of that man? Do you know that God is able to deal with him even before he deals with you? God is talking to you, my dear. You that is afraid of that man. You that is afraid of that person that is giving you sleepless nights. I tell you that God can deal with him first before the man starts even thinking of dealing with you. So I ask you, who is the man that is tormenting you? Who is the man that is threatening you? And you are afraid of him? Stand up in faith. Today's message, God is telling you to stand up in faith. Fear God only. Do not fear any man. Do not be afraid of any man, whoever they may be. You should fear only God, 
who has the capacity and the power to to unturn everything. God can kill both the body and soul. And that is who you should be afraid of. And that is who you should be giving all loyalty to. And not to any man. Some people worship human beings because of what you get from them. Because of what you want to get, you worship them. Child of God, this message has exposed us to know the truth and nothing but the truth. Do not fear any man. Fear only your God. The worst of man can bring out the best of God. Hear me, the worst of man can bring out the best of God. Do not fear no man. Instead, fear God only. He is the owner of our lives, both here and on the other side of eternity. We pray today that God will help us to keep our focus and fear Him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen and Amen. I say to you again, do not be afraid, for God loves you. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll continue to keep safe. We'll continue to be very, very careful. I want to tell us that this COVID-19 is still spreading, going viral. But you are exempted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you a lovely Sunday and a beautiful week ahead. You are blessed.